Hey everybody, Jordan from Shops and Stones. We're back at it again with another guided knife sharpening system review. We have the Edge Pro Professional here. Now keep in mind as we go through this, the Edge Pro Apex is gonna be extremely similar. The biggest difference is gonna be overall build quality and some features that come stock on the Professional are add-ons on the Apex. So to kind of lay this out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in through our packaging, we're gonna go through build quality and specs, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit pros and cons, and then I'll tell you whether it's worth buying in 2023 or not. So let's go ahead and dive on down and get into it. So today we're reviewing a 50 cal BMG sniper rifle. Oh wait, just kidding, this is the Edge Pro. <laughs> this thing is so huge, like I can't believe how big the box for this is. They kind of went a little overboard on the overall size of this, but hey, for what it's worth, there she is. Let's dive in so you guys can get a closer look on how this is all packaged. All right, so as you can see here, this is some very elaborate packaging. Uh, I am pretty impressed uh, with how it's laid out. I just am not very impressed with the overall size. It is huge, but uh, you know, you have all foam cutouts. You even have foam cutouts for parts that you may want to add in later. This is for the uh, scissor attachment here, which I really appreciate. They kind of really thought ahead and made sure you had space for everything. This is a small knife attachment. You have your main table here, your vice clamp, your stone carrier, the stone carrier hole, and the support base. I mean, everything is here. Everything is accounted for. They even have a water bottle. Back there is going to be, you pull that up, there's instructions and there's a free towel that they give you. And they even give you this case. This came with it. I did not add this. Um... This is the little stone container that you can keep your stones in. I mean, overall packaging 8.5 out of 10. Like the only reason it's 8.5 is just purely size. Like this is hard to store because it's so big. But like I said, the thought is there. It's beautiful. You can't really go wrong. I mean, I guess when you're spending $525, like you, you get what you pay for. So that's that. Let's go ahead and talk about overall design, build quality, and setup real quick. All right, so as we get into build quality, before we get into the build quality of the Edge Pro Professional, I briefly want to touch on the quality of the Edge Pro Apex. So when we get the Edge Pro Apex, uh, you'll see right over here or here, we'll see where it pops up, but it is a plastic body design. It's got slotted holes on the table and it's got two suction cups in the rear and a stand in the front. There is an optional glass plate you can buy. Uh, I never personally had that when I did own the Edge Pro Apex, so I don't know if that helps the stability or not, but the common issue I personally had with the Edge Pro Apex was the suction cups. The suction cups did not want to stick to my countertop and I have a granite countertop. So it's definitely a smooth surface. Uh, it just did not want to stick. So constantly when I was sharpening, the whole system would move and rattle and I wasn't the biggest fan. So I didn't keep it very long. I think I had it for a total of like four or five months. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's take a look at how the Edge Pro Professional addressed that. All right, so the biggest change, in my opinion, from the Edge Pro Apex to the Edge Pro Professional is how it's mounted to whatever surface you're sharpening on. Uh, I, as I said, those suction cups were the bane of my existence when I owned the Edge Pro Apex, and they addressed it here. Uh, it looks like they either partnered up with some company who makes vices, or they just took the suction cup base of a vice and made it the base of their system. So... What you do is you kind of just hold this in place and you'll pull this lever and now that ain't going nowhere. I mean, I just shook it so hard my whole tripod shook. So if the camera shook a little bit, I'm sorry. But now you can see that that's not going anywhere, right? And this is what's supporting your entire, entire uh, setup, which I absolutely love. So then you're free to grab your system and you throw it in the little hole, right? And then you tighten her up and wow, this thing is not going anywhere. Again, sorry if the camera shook a little here, but my tripod is, you know, C-clamped to my table. Um, so anyways, like I said, this system now just became way more sturdy. Another huge 
you know, upgrade that I think that they did was a plastic table here. They went from a very cheap, lightweight feeling plastic table to a, I want to say injection molded. I could totally be wrong on that, but this injection molded plastic is insanely thick. It's heavy duty. It just feels so premium, right? Uh, the whole weight of the whole system, especially with the aluminum, uh, you know, mounting brackets they put on here, it gives it a much more premium feel. This thing just feels sturdy. And that was my biggest gripe with the Apex. You know, I know $200 may not seem like a lot, but when I bought the Edge Pro Apex, it's like, dude, I felt like I spent $200. I spent a lot of money. Why does it feel so janky? And again, maybe that glass base makes all the difference. I couldn't afford it at the time. But, you know, now with this Edge Pro Professional, it's like they, had, they addressed every possible concern. Another big improvement that Edge Pro made on this professional model is the stone carrier. Now, the Edge Pro Apex still has a great stone carrier. I can't knock it in any way, shape, or form. But the biggest upgrade I noticed right off the bat was the overall weight of this stone carrier. Uh, and I believe this knob is just a hair bigger than on the Apex. Uh, which just leads to a great sharpening experience. For some reason, and it could just be me, this is very subjective, but the heavier weight on the stone uh, carrier and the whole guide rod uh, leads to a more pleasant sharpening experience. When I sharpen with the KME or the uh, Hapstone RS or even my TS Prof Cadet, you know, uh, you don't have the same weight that this Edge Pro Professional does. And it just, it feels so nice. Like the way it glides, it, against the edge bevel especially when you get to the higher grit finishes it just it feels so smooth so natural uh it almost feels like you can feel more too especially when you get near the tip like if the if the stone carrier is even close to attempting to roll you feel it right away so i really really enjoy that and i wish that i could take this stone carrier and guide rod and put it on my ts prof cadet to be completely honest it would be amazing uh another detail that they added was adjustable um, positioning for your stone carrier. I personally have not used this feature. I haven't had the need, but in the event that you get a stone that's slightly larger or smaller, you are able to move this a couple centimeters in each direction. Now you can't use it to put a four inch stone on this. Unfortunately, I think that would have been a great idea, but you know, again, if you have a couple stones from different manufacturers who are just slightly off in size, you are able to compensate for that. One other feature that I really like that they added to the professional that is not on the Apex is the ability to adjust the angle of your table. Whether you're sharpening standing or sitting or you just like one view better than the other, you're able to adjust this by simply adjusting this rod right here, which is held in by a little thumb screw. Obviously, you would loosen your vise too. Sorry, so you loosen your vise first, you adjust this, you tighten everything back down, and you have the perfect angle for sharpening. And I personally like that because one day, maybe I want to stand and sharpen. The next day, maybe I want to sit down, just depending on what kind of day I had at work, right? So with that said, it's a small feature, but it does not go unnoticed, and I really, really appreciate it. Now, a feature that comes stock on the Edge Pro Professional that does not come stock on the Edge Pro Apex is a magnetic table. Now, I just have a little Allen key here just for demonstration, but it's magnetic. So when you're sharpening your knife, it's going to hold it in place better. So if I pull out my Spyderco here, you know, all I have to do is just hold it into place. And you can see that in this sharpening video I just released. I will put it right here. Uh, you guys can kind of just see how that magnet comes into play when you're actually sharpening your knife, right? It is very, very helpful. Uh, that was an add-on to the Edge Pro Apex. They made it stock in the Edge Pro Professional. So I'd say that kind of covers just about everything in the overall build quality. Let's go ahead and get into the pros and the cons. All right, so now we went ahead and took a look at the overall packaging, build quality, and setup. Let's go ahead and get into pros and cons. My very first pro is that the build quality is phenomenal and it is made in the USA. These guys take a lot of pride in it. Even on the bottom of this Edge Pro, it has the person who built it with their uh, date that they built it. And it says, you know, handwritten in there, made in the USA, 
which I'll post a photo of right here. I think that's a really cool little thing that they do. It just adds that nice little personal touch. Uh, so kudos to Edge Pro for taking the time to make something US made that's a really high quality product. My next pro is gonna be the great customer service. Again, you search online on the forums and overall reviews. Anytime anybody reaches out to Edge Pro, they get quick responses, they're quick to handle any issues. I think that goes a long way. Uh, some of these other manufacturers who may be overseas are harder to get a hold of. You know, I actually have a story about that down the line when I do a review of another system uh, that I really struggled to get parts for because I couldn't get a hold of anybody. So again, customer service, though it's rarely needed, is important to have when you need it, right? So uh, my next pro is going to be overall sharpening experience. The sharpening experience on this thing, especially when you're doing full flat grinds, is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's just probably the nicest just experience I had overall, just the feeling of the stone on the edge, regardless of what stone I used, uh, the ability to see the edge bevel more clearly than on any other system, just the way the table's angled, the light reflects off of it just perfectly. Uh, I really, really enjoy all those things when sharpening on the Edge Pro Professional. Uh, obviously, another pro, I kind of just mentioned it, was full flat grinds. This system is by far the best for full flat grinds. So if you're sharpening a lot of chef knives or you're a Spyderco collector, then this is probably the ideal system for you. And my last pro is probably going to be that the fact that this is probably the best system overall for large knives. While plenty of other systems these days can handle large knives really well, uh, what I like about the Edge Pro Professional or even the Edge Pro Apex is that they recommend that if you're doing a larger knife that you slide the knife across the table for you to kind of keep a consistent angle throughout the sharpening. Uh, it does take some practice, but once you dial it in, you can do larger knives and have a very consistent edge bevel flawlessly. Like they, It's actually really good. Where when you have a clamp system, you know, you're kind of limited to the, you know, um, the radius, I guess you could say, of the overall um, stone carrier and how wide it can go out. Because once you go past a certain point, your edge bevel is going to flare up. It's, the angle is going to get lower the further out you go. So when you have something like the Edge Pro Professional, you're able to just drag the knife across the table here. And you're able just to kind of keep your stone carrier in the center of the table thus keeping the same angle the entire time. Uh, I think that's an uh, underrated feature. And if you do a lot of, you know, eight inch plus kitchen knives, or if you're doing hunting knives, or, you know, you, you have, for whatever reason, 10 inch, 12 inch knives, this is probably going to be the overall best system for you. So with that said, I think that kind of clears up our pros. Let's go ahead and get into the cons real quick. All right, so for cons, I would say my very first con even though it's not always a con, is the fact that it has no clamps. There is no clamps on this. Uh, it uses that magnetic table. And for a beginner, that can kind of be a pain in the butt. You know, uh, that magnet is very strong. So as soon as you get the knife close, if you're not perfectly lined up, it'll snap down and then you got to lift it up and put it back down and position it just right. Or when you have a clamp, if you're just learning how to sharpen, you get it where you need it to be and it stays there and you're not worried about the knife moving around. Uh, when you're using guided system sharpening, consistency is the key. So making sure your knife is placed in the same spot every single time is critical. So if you're kind of new to this, getting used to not having a clamp and trying to learn how to position your pro knife properly every single time could be a little bit of a pain and could be a little discouraging, but if you just keep practicing and get with it, you should be just fine. The only other reason why not having a clamp is not necessarily a great thing for the system is when you have funky grinds on a knife and you know you can't really get a good place to keep your knife steady when using this magnet, uh, it, it becomes a pain. You know, some compound ground knives, like the flat's not big enough or it's a hollow grind and you know the knife will wiggle when you uh, try to sharpen it and it takes a lot of discipline and now you're having to hold the knife in position wherever position you want it and you have to remember this is exactly how i position this knife when flipping sides uh so it can be a little bit of a hassle again it's not nothing you can't overcome it's just not 
as comfortable of an experience, especially for an inexperienced sharpener. So if you have some skill and you've been practicing for a while and it's something you're up to ha uh, handle, then go for it. But if you have a lot of knives that are compound grinds and just look like they wouldn't lay flat enough for you to sharpen comfortably, then you might want to consider a different system. Another con I have is going to be, it is a larger learning curve. Now, I would say this system is probably the closest thing to freehand you can get without being freehand. Um, you know, there's a, more of a learning curve, especially if you're sharpening a larger knife and you have to drag it across the table. Uh, you kind of just see a lot of similarities between this system and freehand. So again, it's not the end of the world. It is a larger learning curve, but it's not something that you know, any average person can't overcome. It's just, you're going to have to understand when you come into this that, Hey, I am going to have a little bit of, you know, learning. I have to practice on some, you know, beat up knives that I don't care about to kind of get this and understand this. If I have nothing but really high end knives with compound grinds, I might want to buy a cheaper Civivi or, you know, cheaper budget knife that has a weird compound grind on it to practice on. Right. Same thing with Tonto knives. I ha personally have not try to tonto knife on this but i can imagine it being a little bit of a pain um i personally don't own any to try so you know i can't really speak on that but if you have please leave it in the comments and kind of let me know how you tackle that i would love to see that my next con is going to be smaller knives now there is a small knife attachment for this and i have used it uh it works okay um well, we got to define what a small knife is. I think that small attachment, you know, setup works really well for two and a half to three inch knives. Sure. Uh, but when you get anything below that, like say you want to sharpen a Swiss army knife on it or something like that, it's, it's not the greatest for that. I really don't think so. I think you're better off just at that point, trying to freehand on the, on the stones that come with your edge pro. Um, there isn't a ton of knives out there like that, thankfully, but there are some, and you are going to struggle to get a solid edge easily off this system with a super small knife like that. All right, so my last con, and I hate that this has to be a con, is the price. Uh, I feel like for what this is, even as much as I enjoy using the system, I do not feel like it's worth the money. I mean, even your entry-level you know, Edge Pro Professional, I want to say is $525. Uh, with the other options that are out there on the market right now uh, that are obviously clamp systems, they are right around anywhere between two to 400, maybe $450. And oftentimes that's including stones too. Uh, so to pay $525 and just get some aluminum oxide stones, which to be honest, aren't great. I've never even tried them aside from once and I just was not very impressed with them. Um, I just, I feel like there's better options out there. There's even other table style systems out there. I can think of like Hapstone, for example, that would be a reputable one that is literally almost half the price. Uh, so in my honest opinion, unless you are a knife maker making a ton of knives and you're going to keep this set up, I don't see the price being worth it. So yeah, that's my last con. We'll kind of get more into that um, as I kind of close out my closing statements here. So let's answer the million dollar question. Should you buy the Edge Pro in 2023 or 2024? That's tough to say. I, with the Apex, I would probably say no. I feel like at that price point, I don't think it's worth it. Just with how cheap it feels uh, and the fact that it wobbles on you when those suction cups wear out. Uh, I feel like for $40 more, you get the, you know, uh, Hapstone, I forget the model number. You can look it up on Gridomatic's website, but there is a table style Hapstone that's very similar to the Edge Pro Apex, but better build quality. It's gonna be more stable, has more magnets. Uh, and some of the things that you're paying extra for on the Apex are stock on the Hapstone, like the magnets, for example. So I don't necessarily think the Apex is worthwhile. Now, when you get to the Professional, I think the Professional is a great system, and I think it's going to be suited for you if you're in a specific category. Are you a chef who sharpens a ton of knives? 
Do you, are you just a sharpener who sharpens a ton of chef knives? Do you sharpen nothing but spider codes all the time? Are you a knife maker and you just want a system you can set up and just go to and, you know, you primarily make, you know, high flat or full flat grinds and you just want something to, you know, just stay put and go at it. I would say those are the type of people who should probably go after the Edge Pro Professional. And that's probably why the professional tag is in the name. And, but the thing is, there's a catch-22 to that because there are other systems you can buy where you can do all that for less money. And that's the frustrating part. If this system was set up at, you know, call it 350, maybe even 400 tops, I could recommend this easily to a much wider variety of people. But you're getting up to $525. I just, I don't see the value. I really don't. As much as I enjoy this system, I just do not see the value. I wish I could say otherwise because I really do enjoy this company. I enjoy the platform. But that's, that's really the matter of the fact. So with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and close this video out. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. Please share my videos. I am trying to, you know, get bigger in the community and help you guys out, help you guys make smarter decisions when you guys are buying your equipment, help you guys sharpen better, give you guys tips and tricks. So again, follow my Instagram here, follow me here, share my videos, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the whole ordeal. Uh, and with that said, I'm out. Have a good one. God bless.